Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to try this again. For those of you who caught my post a little while ago, uh, it apparently went out without any audio, so I'm going to try this again. And I'm double checking on myself first. And it sounds like there's audio going there, so I'm going to mute that. Although now you get to hear the lovely sounds in the background. It is what it is. Hey, um, I just lost my train of thought. How not to live stream. All right, let me start over here. <laughs> hey, this is Stacy Brayuka. It is Monday, and I'm excited to be with you guys. I am doing a challenge this week um, on a uh, colleague's page. And I wanted to tell you guys about it. So, um, the and I had everything in the video I just did, just lost it. So, um, one of my challenges this last week and this week has been everything breaking or not working when I wanted it to. So that may be continuing into this week, and I hope the moon and stars get aligned again so that that stops. Um, you know, that just happens. It's a part of life. You go on, you move forward. Um, and you can't let it bother you. You can't let those kind of things or um, even sounds of uh, chainsaws in the background bother you. So I am doing a challenge on uh, Jay Facet's page. It is a joint venture five-day challenge with um, a variety of people I don't even know yet because I haven't jumped in the group except to do my introduction the other day. But this five day challenge is to get five collaborators in five days. Now, that could look several ways, I imagine. Um, and since I haven't read my read to do my homework yet, this is kind of cool that I'm doing like a, hey, what am I thinking about this before I even go into the class? Um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever done a challenge before, but sometimes you get a, you know, you're like, oh, I'm so excited about this challenge, and you jump in, and it's not at all what you expected. Or you jump in, and it's everything you expected, and then some. Um, I think this one, you know, I try and go into any activity with um, just open expectations, whether it's a conversation with a friend, or whether it's uh, being live streaming or whatever I'm doing, it's op you know open, transparent, and real. Um, and sometimes that means raw, and uh, that's okay. Raw is okay. Um, I know there are people who would disagree with me, but I think raw is okay. There are times where you don't want to be raw, where you want to be polished, and you want to be you know uh, up on your game and and doing everything perfect. But there's other times where it's not. Um, where you don't have to be absolutely perfect, um, and you can still have a um, good interaction and get a good message across to people. So this five-day challenge, five collaborators or joint ventures, five connections in five days. I'm wondering, is that five different potential projects or ideas that that person and myself might um, get ourselves into shenanigans or tomfoolery or whatever or would that be five different people who we all decide to do something together I'm thinking it could go either way I really I really am but um, you know it got me thinking about the fact that we we don't do things we can't do everything on our own um, you know those of you who are parents out there obviously creating a child is not yet possible as a single individual with no intervention. Um, we don't have cloning yet, and we certainly can't self-clone that I know of. Um, so parenting, um, having families, supporting each other as families, we do that back to the dawn of time, helping each other learn things. If one person learns something and they pass it on to another, learning is collaborative or can be collaborative, even if it's passed down from a wise elder to the younger uh, learner or the younger learner to the wise learner um, because most wise elders are also wise learners. Um, and sometimes 
there's wisdom that comes from out of the mouths of babes. Um, sometimes there's tomfoolery that comes out of either one. But we learn from each other. We help each other in this life. If there weren't people out there growing crops and farming, I probably would not have been able to eat the beef stroganoff I had for lunch because there was food in that that was created by another person's labors. Um, if I did not uh, teach as an educator, there would not, maybe there wouldn't be people who have learned um, health informatics in a public health program. Um, or if I, you know, each of us has our own little things, the things we do. Um, even as things like passing on hobbies to each other. Um, someone had, you know, usually, and I frequently it's a grandparent, passes along a hobby to a grandchild. Sometimes it's family members and sometimes it's, you know, that favorite neighbor teaches you something, how to do something. We all collaborate with each other on a daily basis with lots of things. And why can't it be any different in a business world? We frequently look at things as it has to be competition, is I do this and I do it better than this person. And so I'm in competition, I'm gonna do it better. And why can't this person and this person who both know how to do the same thing, or maybe it's different pieces of the same thing, come together and make it an even stronger thing together? Because maybe together they come together and make whatever it is even better than either of them could have dreamed because of the synergy. So I'm going into this challenge open-minded with that thought and anticipating some amazing synergy and ideas. And I'm going to try and go live every day and tell you guys what's going on. But I would like to see you guys use the link that's in this post and click on it and join the challenge because it's free. Join the free challenge. Come with me and help. Let's Maybe we can even help each other with homework. Again, collaboration. Help each other with homework and we can like learn this idea of joint ventures and, and, and this challenge, in this open-minded challenge together. Um, let's say you don't want to do that, but you, in, in listening to me, you've come up with, oh, there's this really cool challenge that, or this really cool collaboration I did with a friend of mine. We created a, a vision board together, or we made this amazing art project together, or we collaborated and wrote this song as a band when we were kids and um, whatever it is that you collaborated and did. We created an event that's still going on years later. Um, I know a group of glass bead makers who created an event oh, quite some time ago and that event is still going on every year um, at the lake and it's a very um, special event. Um, but the, I was there at the beginning at the creating and collaborating and that magic has lasted years. That's how new things are born. So tell me in the comments if you have ever been involved in a um, collaboration effort that was exciting and adventurous and you didn't know what you were going to do but you ended up doing this magical thing. or um, and, and, you know, what were the positive aspects of it? What were the good things? What would you do different, even if it was a positive thing? What would you do the same, you know, and why? And then also tell me, like, maybe about unexpected collaborations that, you know, you met somebody in a coffee shop and all of a sudden, three years later, you end up best friends and you've created a business together and you've done lots of things together and then you went your separate ways so you could, uh, you know, whatever reach your individual dreams, but you still collaborate on things, you know? How did it work out? What did collaboration look like? You know, I think that's important to uh, think about and talk about as human beings, and I'm just using this uh, video to get the ball rolling. And yes, I'm using my hands a lot today. That's just the way it is. So um, happy Monday, everybody. I hope you're motivated. I hope you're excited. Um, I hope you have lots of 
magical ideas in your head about things that you've done before or things you might want to do? Who, who haven't you reached out to in a while? Think about that one. Reach out to them. Tell them about uh, an idea you have. Maybe there's a reason you, you're needing to reach out to that person because maybe it involves a collaboration with them that you just don't even know yet because those things happen. Have a wonderful Monday. I'll catch you guys later.